To insert a double lumen tube, first bend the tube with a stylet in place and check the cuffs. Get a good laryngoscope view using a direct or video laryngoscope. Insert the tube to reach the glottis. Here, remove the stylet to unbend the tip. Rotate the tube. A left-sided double lumen tube is rotated to the patient's left side to advance past the thyroid prominence. Note a large rotation may be necessary to enable a small rotation at the tip. After applying the connector, inflate the tracheal cuff. Both right and left lungs should inflate. and end tidal carbon dioxide should be confirmed. The aim is to place the left-sided double lumen tube in the ideal position shown. To check tube placement in the correct bronchus, clamp the tracheal limb and open the tracheal tube to air. Ventilation through the bronchial tube is taking place and should be detected mainly in the left lung. If the right lung is ventilating, the tube should be repositioned to the correct bronchus using a bronchoscope. Note the air leak felt at the tracheal lumen. Air travels down the bronchial lumen and past the bronchial cuff, back up the tracheal lumen. Now inflate the bronchial cuff with about two mils of air. This should stop the air traveling up the tracheal lumen. If not, you may require a larger tube size. Note the clinical check is the only assessment for air leak on ventilation to predict effective lung isolation. To check the depth of the tube, clamp the bronchial limb to ventilate through the tracheal tube for a correctly placed left-sided double lumen tube, only the right lung should ventilate without difficulty. If both lungs are ventilating instead, the tube is too shallow, the bronchial cuff is proximal to the carina. If so, deflate both cuffs and advance the tube and reinflate the cuffs. Alternatively, if there is resistance to hand ventilation and the right lung does not readily ventilate, the tube is too deep. The tracheal lumen is occluded in the left main bronchus. If so, withdraw the tube slightly after deflating the cuffs until the right lung ventilates and reinflate the cuffs. Verify the centimeters at the lips and proceed to the bronchoscopic check. 